everybody, welcome to our Epic video. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the app Epic. Now, you'll be able to use this at home only during school hours. You might get lucky and be able to, but the company is saying we can only use it during school hours. So let's see what happens. I'm going to click my Epic app. And then all of our names should pop up. Now this was my classroom last year. I'm gonna to go to my friend Porter. And if you look in the very bottom, Porter's little monster, I'm gonna click that. And this is where you can find all of your information. So look, Porter read 146 books. He spent 10 hours. He has watched 151 videos. Now if I click on customize, this is where you can pick your avatar, you can change your colors, your frame, your pattern, okay? And then these are all the books that he's read and the badges he's earned, okay? So now I'm going, going to go to search at the bottom. See how I click that? And this is where you can search books that you're interested in. So, I love pandas. So I want to read about pandas today. I'm going to hit done. And look at all these books and videos and audiobooks about pandas. But I want it to read to me. So I'm going to click read to me. And these are all the books. You can see the pandas are at the top that are read to me books. So you might be interested in, oh, this is perfect, first day at zoo school if you wanted to read a fiction book or maybe you wanted to read a nonfiction book and do pandas. So if I click on that, and you make sure you have your volume on. National you Geographic read readers. readers. Now you can hit pause. You can turn down the volume and read it to, by yourself. Okay. Now, when you're done with this book, it will go back to the home screen, but let's say you're really not interested anymore. If you take your fingers like I just did and make pinch them small, you'll go back to the screen. So if you wanna do panda videos, panda books. So that's how you'd search something, okay? Maybe you just wanna search a topic like art or maybe you want to search a math one telling time so then there's books all on telling time that is in the search bar there's also the explore and here's where you'll find all the new books that just came out here you'll have books that you've already started books that are recommended for you because it's going to get to know what you like. Popular series, a bunch of different things. You'll see here in this middle, it says F and P and that's our Fontes and Pinnell reading level. If I click it, I can change it to my reading level. Let's say I'm a level B reader. So I'm gonna click A through D and then it will show you, look at all the books that are in level A. Look at all the level books that are in level B. Okay, so that's a really good way to find some good books at your level. Now the most important thing at the bottom is our mailbox. So if I click the mailbox, you'll see that this is where your teacher puts books they want you to read. Okay, so these are all the books that we read last year. So in Read to Me, here you'll see, I might say, okay, go to Read to Me, and I want you to read the book on apples. So then you could go there. If you go back to the mailbox at the top, I might say, you know what, today I want you to go to your mailbox, click on videos, and I want you to watch the verb video. So then you'd watch the verb video. And hit back. 
So this is where you'll find your mailbox. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my library with the heart and here you see I'm offline right now and so it won't let me get to that. You might have that happen to you if you're trying to go on at nighttime. So this is epic and I hope you have a really good time with it.